Well, now, this great story of victory over violence, the Sankofa District on Syracuse's south side is becoming a small hub for entrepreneurship and for young creatives, too. One of the reasons is the Creator's Lounge on South Salina Street. And I recently met the founder, Indaria Jones, who is working to transform her community, one young creative at a time. All right, so we are here. Yes, we are. <laughs> The moment you step inside the Creator's Lounge, you can feel a shift in the atmosphere. And the energy in here, I feel like, is just, it's young, it's fresh. Yeah. Was that your goal? In yeah, yeah, I wanted it to be vibrant, so that's why we had the um, pops of yellow and a little bit of orange. With vivid portraits on the wall of what Indaria Jones defines as success. So yeah. you were strategic in the people that you chose to Yes, I, I wanted to expose and what really this space and one of our goals is exposure. <laughs> exposure to iconic moments and young creatives who are breaking barriers and changing the landscape of entrepreneurship. And Daria Jones is the think tank behind the Creators Lounge. It's a members only workspace that's building the next generation of innovators in Syracuse. It's rare that we have a place where people can be all of who they are in one space. You can be creative, you can be an entrepreneur, you can be a professional, you can be an executive all in this one space. The idea emerged from an online community she created called The Like-Minded. It's a haven for more than 2,700 young visionaries to develop their brands. We have people from Atlanta, New Jersey, New York City, um, Maryland, Binghamton, Endicott, all over the place just because I made that one choice to step out. That leap of faith manifested into this building, which opened in July, allowing people like Marisha Stinson to expand her business. And like I said, just having the resources and the people all in one room, it, it's so refreshing because like we get to um, we get to network with each other. She recently traveled with Indaria to Detroit for Forbes 30 Under 30, which Indaria is a part of. And it was a great experience. I mean, we made it to Forbes from like <laughs> Syracuse, you know, the Boys and Girls Club, Southwest. This is just the beginning. Um, I can see this being a really big thing for Syracuse and we really needed it. I do think that there is change coming as far as um, young talent rising. I also feel like we've already been here, so it could be on the flip side where everyone else is just kind of focusing on us for once. Putting Syracuse on the map, one creative at a time.